is an exhibition of new paintings by the British artist James Mortimer. James is based in Bath, in the west of England, and while he studied sculpture at the Bath School of Art and Design, as a painter he is principally self-taught. He has developed a unique painting style to depict his surreal, sometimes dark, and often humorous world, a place of idealised nature and unfettered human instincts. His paintings describe a tropical land being colonised as an idyllic playground. Nature here is both beautiful and vicious, its open plains interrupted by rumbling volcanoes and hungry crocodiles. Amidst them, pockets of buildings seek to tame the land and turn it into an expansive pleasure garden. It is a hallucinatory world where civil restraint falls away and human urges are allowed unrestricted expression. A glorious place, full of humour, but also dark undercurrents. The raw savagery of nature is all-consuming and overpowers its colonisers. As they lounge around in unthinking nakedness, animals attack and puncture their ideal. Dogs fight amongst themselves. Crocodiles leap from the water. The inhabitants themselves soon channel this raw organic power. This tattooed man in his undergarments approaches a horse wielding a stick, seemingly rising from an afternoon drink to undertake some mundane but brutal task. This colonizer wields a cleaver on his homestead, though it is unclear whether it is destined for the pig or for the woman. Violent urges are not restricted to the animals. A pair of wrestlers struggle at the foot of a volcano, with one on the point of throwing the other down a well. Or in this scene, an afternoon drink turns to violence, in a scene that oozes masculine imposition. And here, a semi-naked man acts as a hangman to a clothed companion, whilst accompanied by his llama. This painting is half of a diptych, where its pair depicts a man in a lake contemplating a naked pregnant woman. Together they suggest how sexual instinct and procreation are of the same instinctual family as violence and authority. In describing how he works, James says that he does not overcomplicate his ideas. They are images that spring from his mind that he then explores in an uninhibited fashion. In a sense, they are pure fruit of the subconscious, images of a fertile imagination with deep symbolic echoes. This explains the otherworldly feel of his paintings, moments from a delirium that are cryptic and hard to fathom. On the surface, James's painting style echoes this unfiltered approach. Many elements are like contemporary articulations of folk art, with a rustic honesty and directness. A woman sits at a table, like a tavern scene, a crocodile is depicted in a manner as much imagined as real. In this sense, James's works echo artists such as Henry Rousseau in articulating nature with a naive primitivism, a place of exuberant flora where his characters frolic with gay abandon. His depictions of architecture also further this approach, with buildings pared back in a style reminiscent of medieval painting, where structures were used as shorthand for civilization as opposed to depictions of specific places. But beneath this, James's works are complex and technically deft. Note the delicacy of his ink drawing. Fishermen heave in their catch, while boaters and bathers float amongst sharks around a classical island crowned with a temple and wreathed with finely detailed trees. Leaves and fronds in his paintings are given minute attention, with each plant seeming to exist in its own right, almost independent of its context. His depiction of flesh is also sumptuous, with a lush, buttery quality to the paint. This disarming quality and his abundant sense of humour belie the inventiveness of James's work, of using the painterly tradition of primitivism not to hark back to some lost bucolic age, but rather to delve into the darker corners of humanity in its raw, animal state.